So what is the difference between an audio mixer and an audio interface? They're two different names, but if you're new to podcasting or even microphones, I'm going to try and help you explain the differences between the two. I've used both and I'll let you know why I use one over the other. So in terms of audio, when you're doing live streaming, you're probably going to want some type of audio. You can use, use USB microphones, which are perfectly fine. But at some point, you're going to want something a bit more professional. So the first one here is the Focusrite Scarlett Solo. Now, this is classed as an audio interface. What that means is you can put an XLR mic into it and that can be transferred into a USB, which goes to your computer. So you can actually use it as a microphone. You can use XLR mics via this and go into your computer. It's like a sound card type of situation where it's giving you that adaptability to use something from a different XLR connection to your USB. So that's kind of along those lines. So what that will mean for you is you can use it to put in mics and the mics can then be placed into your computer. This one that I'm showing you has one XLR. What that means is you can plug one microphone into it and control it on the front of that system. So you've got a gain control, which is basically how loud and control it gets. You can put your headphones into it and monitor what you're saying via the system. So that's what an interface is. It in creates an interface for one item plug to your computer. So now when I say what's the difference between that and a mixer board, here is a mixer board I'll show you. It's a Behringer. Not the best, not my favorite, but when I initially started, I used it and I was happy for it because the price that it comes at is actually very reasonable. So if you're on a budget, you're going to get four XLR mics here. So you'll see on the board on the top here, there's four XLR options. One, two, three, four. You can plug in four microphones there. So in my example, I've got one microphone here. Then I've got one microphone on my standing desk over there. So I use two of these on my Yamaha mixer board, which is different to this uh, Behringer, different brand. So in the brands and the pricings, why are some expensive and some cheap? The cheaper ones have preamps, which basically determine how the microphone sounds. A cheaper preamp will have a bit more noise in the background. So if you turn up the gain, you'll hear crackling or the voice won't be as crisp as a more expensive one, basically. So I use the Yamaha MG10XU the four xlr version and i don't have to do any other processing on my voice when i do a live stream or recording it's as it is as it comes out and it's actually very good quality so that is based on your ear when you hear good quality audio you'll know what i'm talking about and how that affects you for a long time i was using a cheap microphone and i didn't know what good audio sounded like but when i got a ex ex well not expensive but a good quality mixing board I was able to set it to my ear and then hear my old videos that I created and what they sounded like versus the new ones. So it kind of gives you an idea of what a mixing board can do for you. Uh, interfaces do a similar thing, but you don't have as much adaptability. So you'll see on this mixer board, we've got a number of options and knobs on there. You've got equalizer, you've got mid control and high and well mid low and then additional effects control. What that basically means is if you tend to have a slightly higher pitched voice, you can use those knobs to kind of adjust the voice to make it sound a bit more deeper or a bit more masculine or a bit different. So that's what it helps you with. Also, it makes the voice sound nicer overall and balanced. So that's giving you the extra option there. If you're totally new to this, check out some videos and listen to the differences between the, the microphones on the mixing board and how it changes the frequency. I've done some tests in the past with it and I was quite happy to see there's a wide gamut there. Um, and in addition to that, you have got options to add effects. So if you do live streaming in terms of gaming and stuff, in these you can actually have, well in the Behringer ones you don't have it, but in the Yamaha MG10XU that I have, like this one here, I was able, well I am able to add effects. This one doesn't have it. This is the MG10, where's the XU one? That's a MG12. Okay, there's an MG10 XU, which has four, and it has like that. You can see the little 24 number there. It's got effects on it. So when you press the button, you can actually add echo and a bit more effects to your stream. So if you're doing a live stream, a lot of gamers do this, where they press a button and it makes it more echoey and you can do like an effect. So in that example, you're doing that live, which is quite a powerful thing to do in terms of editing. So that's a quick look at differences between um, 
a mixing board and an audio interface. I've done a number of videos about microphones and budget mics versus wireless and also USB microphones. So you can check more about that here. I think you'll find it handy, especially if you're currently looking at microphones. So I'll see you on that next video.